Hey everyone, Jesse here with uh, Plant Propagation. Wanted to do an update on the propagation bed. It had been running basically uh, early spring, summer, and you can see some of my older posts on plants that I've created. Um, this is the last batch. It's the end of November. It's been kind of rainy down here uh, outside of Houston. Today it's, you know, I think tomorrow or Tomorrow is Thanksgiving and it's 70 degrees right now, so quite nice right now. Um, some experience for this year. I've had a lot of crepe myrtle trees propagate just fine. Uh, so here's one, it's obviously grown quite a lot. You can see uh, this one's still alive too. Root system, that no, looks kind of dead. Um, I've tried selling those on online with no luck really. Uh, so with that, I have some pothos plants that have done just fine, and these are probably one of the easiest plants to propagate, if I can get that, without breaking the uh, roots too much. So just beautiful pothos huge root system, no problem. These are more indoor plants, so I'm gonna take those inside. And I've got a couple more of those. Once again, another set, pretty good. Trying not to break as many roots as possible. So it looks like that's rooting out in two spots. And I got a third one. And basically, I've had one or two pothos plants that I've done cuttings for over and over. And I probably have a hundred or made hundreds from one plant. So this is definitely one of the top plants to do it, to propagate with. I don't even think I used any rooting hormone. Um, I basically lay the vine cutting um, underneath and so you can see at every node it'll produce roots so it actually can uh, root very quickly from multiple spots compared to other plants like a crepe myrtle is only going to root from the bottom of that cutting. I've got two more to go through. And I'd say overall the propagation bed's working pretty good. Um, I did have one blowout using these misters. I switched to this uh, new head, which has been running for quite a while, and it just worked perfectly. Um, they're used for irrigation tubing. I think it's quarter inch irrigation tubing. And so I was able to use these misters and get them, um, get the tubes connected to that. And those have been working just fine. So those ran for six months. Uh, every every day for like six months straight uh, 10 minutes on five minutes off or something like that or every 10 minutes it's on for 10 seconds so pretty good so we got here total of five or so and I'm gonna probably have to get one big pot and I'll put all these in there and start a whole new uh, big pot of pothos. There you go. So like I said you can root pothos in multiple ways propagation bed is very easy. It just keeps the plants. The plants are misted every 10 minutes so the leaves stay moist and when that happens they seem to root out a lot better than some other methods. Um, so let's see here. I think this is a, I want to say this might be a U. So let's check the results on that. Looks like they did, did just fine. We shall find out. Yeah, 
Got some rooting action going on. I think this is the third time I've tried these plants, so this one did not work. Okay, we got two. And let's see here, some other ones. I did turn off the uh, misters for a couple days, just because I was kind of done with it for the season. So some of these might have might have lasted, but um, just wanted them to be done with. So I'm gonna clean up this stuff, uh, upload the video, and um, I guess overall, you know, after a year or so of this garden bed, uh, it's worked out pretty well. I probably need some additional shade to cover this, uh, but the mix is half sand, half perlite. The dram sticks um, are the primary misters, which cover everything. Um, I do have a water, um, a water line going into that with a valve, so that came in handy to just turn it off for the year. It's done, and I've been using the same Galcon uh, propagation timer, which allows the valve to open every 10 minutes um, for a couple seconds to keep these guys misted. So I'm going to go ahead and pot these up. Thanks for watching, and let me know if you have any questions.